Hello students, good afternoon. Today's presentation, we are going to see more on petrophysical modeling in petrol software. So we have completed a lot of things on petrol, like volume, calculation, etc. And also upscaling model. So a lot of things we have done. And uh, now we are going to see on petrophysical modeling concepts in petrol. So it is a short course. So let's see the go to the presentation. So petrophysical modeling short course. So here we are going to see about the what are the objectives of our petrophysical modeling objectives. That is, we are going to discuss the different petrophysical modeling techniques and uh, that is determinist, deterministic techniques, stochastic techniques. And also, we are uh, learn how to use the common settings, like setting the filters using the many realizations, and how to use zone settings. We are defining the zones, and also different stochastic algorithms like SGS, GRFS, and etc. That is sequential Gaussian simulation, then Gaussian random function simulation. That is GRFS and the QC results and property calculator. So this is our objective of petrophysical modeling. So now you can see the uh, algorithms covered in this course, short course. Uh, that is stochastic method, deterministic method, then pixel-based techniques, and interpolation. So out of this SG, sequential gas simulation, SG the simulation, and uh, GRF simulation, moving average. So what are the advantages? So briefly we'll see. See in the sequential Gaussian simulation algorithm, so you are honoring all the well data, input distributions, variograms, and other trends. And the variogram distributions are used to create local variations and also what are all away from your input data, that is your SGS. And in the Gaussian random function simulation algorithm, which is faster than SGS and gives better variogram reproduction, and also it has fast collocated co simulation option using interface correlation coefficients as a slide bar. And in the moving average, you can see the based on the inputs, what you are giving the average value and calculates the weights according to the distance from the wheels. So these are the algorithms covers in this petrol, so petrophysical modeling short course. Now we can see the what are the two main common settings which are doing here. What are the two main settings buttons are available in the common and zone settings. So they these will work exactly as the same way what you learned in the phases modeling. So you can see the common and zone settings in the left, left side and the right hand side of the screen. So it's clearly shown. So when you practice the petrol, you can follow this. Then deterministic method, that is moving average algorithm. So this algorithm is very fast deterministic modeling algorithm and also it calculates average based on the input data, that is upscale cells and also weights according to the distance away from the input data. So you can see here the property and zone selection A and you can see pick the correct upscale properties and select the moving average method for the zone that is B and uh, setting the tabs specify the orientation and also the major minor ratios for the vertical train and specify the output data ranges etc. So this is the moving average algorithm in the deterministic method then. So you can see the stochastic method. 
SGS sequential Gaussian simulation, which is used much used stochastic modeling algorithm. So, as I told you, it is used with L, all the well data, input distributions, variograms, and other trends. And it will create equally probable outputs, false, several, all the other, all other realizations. So, now we can see here. Number one, property and zone selection. It is one A. You can see there. Make sure to pick the correct upscale property. Then, see, you can see again B. One B is shown. Click on the faces button and select the faces model. If condition is necessary, then again you go for next. You can see the variogram tab. Two B, two A. You can see here. Two A and two B. Two A is there range nuggets and type or other faces and b is to get the varigram data and third one is three is shown here the distribution tab select the standard as a method and all upscaled loggings if available so you can select here that is shown below the top of your uh, screen used upscale logs few upscale then distribution function all shown in the arrow mark in the bottom you can see here so now we are coming to the gaussian random function simulation gaussian random function simulation GRFS. So it's a new stochastic modeling algorithm and used for very uh, all other algorithmic programs. So very good alternative for the GS. So GRFS is based on the idea of conditional simulation and Kriging and unconditional simulation. So GRFS is parallelized and therefore much faster than sequential algorithm. And this gives better variogram reproduction and grfs collocated co-creating option allowing the fast update of the results when there is a changing the correlation of coefficients you can see the interactive slide bar on the right hand side in this slide you can see the results qc results the histogram so go to the setting property and select the histogram tab and check the histogram and the distribution raw logs and upscale levels and 3D grids, you can see. Use the zone filter and filter on the other properties values are done by pressing the filter button and go to the proper filter settings for the properties folder. And this is the property calculator. You can see the property calculator which can be used to modify what you have done already properties are to make the new properties in all functions statistical function geometrical functions and mathematical function etc you can see in the screen and uh, property calculator for example sw water saturation, water saturation uh, example is shown function of height above the fluid contact permeability and porosity so there are two main options you can see very simple expression so above contact property from geometrical modeling and the functions that is number one that is a simple expression and you can see the load and more advanced expression also by to toggling the file and browse to and file and run that is number two for advanced expressions so this is your property calculator then property modeling you can see here more on the better physical modeling petrol that is basics just statistics data analysis transformation and variograms data preparation preparation of phases logs phases modeling sequential indicator simulation truncated gaussian simulation object phases modeling better physical modeling porosity and permeability modeling co-located 
co-rigging trends and bivariate distributions basic volume metrics and uncertainty and modeling based on seismic attributes so we have seen also in our uh, presentation on seismic attributes also petrol so next one so you have finished the this one then property modeling we have completed then petrophysical modeling some more information on hgs sequential gaussian simulation results so hgs is a kind quick based stochastic method and it needs the variogram and it learn the distribution of input data upscale log logs and uh, after that the petrol will automatically do the normal scoring transformation before the simulation and back the transformation data and the output is distributed in this manner you can see here is gs so now petrol modeling petrol physical modeling methods over you can see here Kriging interpolation, Kriging, Kriging by GSL, GSLIB and closest, and interpolation by functional and moving average. So you can see here the, all the estimation and interpolation, interpolation in done in your uh, petrol. Kriging interpolation, you can see the valid input data, input variograms, and uh, uh, Kriging it works very faster. Co Kriging options. And simple and ordinary rigging, then rigging by GSLIB option of co-location, and you can choose between the ordinary and simple rigging and closest, and is in the deterministic uh, algorithm. It uses very closest wells data input for each unsampled locations, and functional and moving average uh, for 3D function, parabolic, simple parabolic, planar, and bilinear, which are used in the interpolation. And uh, moving average based on the input you are given, the average value and calculates the weights according to the distance from the wells. Now we can see the modeling overview, Kriging interpolation, Kriging, Kriging by GS levy, closest, functional, and moving average. So these are the petrol physical modeling methods overview you can see here. Then deterministic learning system stochastic direct addressing artificial and pixel based so these are the over all the metrophysical overview you can read you can see here the assigning values you can see undefined and in the neutral net you can see the classification models in the train estimation model and similarly same sequential gaussian simulation well data etc and g GRFS, which is faster than SGS. And you can see the overview, you can see the pixel based of assigned values, new neural nets, then SGS, GRFS. You can see the simulation results. So thank you. We have completed the uh, presentation on petrophysical modeling. Now So now we have completed the presentation on petrophysical modeling in petrol software. So we will see more on our next presentation. Subscribe my channel. Thank you.